Hi, welcome to... No, stop. You can't be here. Oh, oh, oh go away. Oh, oh. Uh, don't. Where's Nuggy? No, don't. Did you hurt him? I want to just die. <laughs> All right, we are back as the masochists that we are to Lisa the Painful. As you guys recall with the last video, I had a sneaky suspicion something was going on with the swamp based on what the NPCs were kind of throwing my way. I just could not decipher it. I asked you guys and a lot of you guys let me know you're not too far off. There is something in the swamp. But apparently you see that um, this one single gap right there, that is where I apparently I had to go. Like, you know, I'm trained to think you jump into pits, you die. That's what happens all the time. But here in particular, this jump brings us here. Let's find out what's over here. We are rolling with Brad, Terry, Nern, and Birdie. Birdie sobered up. I mean, he's a... Uh, we've talked about his drinking problem many times. He is a vicious alcoholic, always spitting up on people and stuff. But hey, him along with um, the hot dance from Terry and my Fireball 3 is doing us pretty good considering Brad's always depressed. So, you know... Our punching isn't really that great, especially when you're missing an arm. You know, these things happen. Oh, you're fish people. Oh, that would make sense. I don't understand what you're saying. The hole is too small for you to fit. Well, I mean, no, we're humans, and this is a fish village, so that would probably happen. Ooh, there's a fish v vendor here. Well, um... Doesn't say it does anything, but I'll buy one just to be on the safe side here. You never know when you need these items later. Okay, we have an entrance over here in this. Let, let me take this first. You got a sea map. Oh, cool, four. What's this? What have you done? Hey, buddy. Wake up. The name's Javi. Javi Alabaster. I'm your fishman lawyer. And you, my friend, are in fishman court. So look alive and pay attention. The judge is about to speak. So? I, I, I don't understand fish language. There seems to be like a human over there as well. Is it just me? It kind of looks like Ike from South Park. Oh, yikes. Your funeral. What? What is you? He says he's guilty. No, I didn't say that at all. Of a lot, including making a pass at your... No, don't tell him that. It's going to anger him. He's to judge you, you insane fish. Hold on. Well, what part of I don't understand them don't you understand? Please help me. <laughs> I am. No, no, you're not. My client wants to meet your son. Okay. So he can slap the shit out. No, don't tell him, Dad. For being born such an ugly fuck. I, I don't even know the kid. Maybe he's not that. Uh, beauty's on the inside. Uh, you sure? <laughs> it feels like no matter what I say, this guy's just twisting my words and making it all terrible. Yes? Huh. All right. What do you boys back there think? Yeah, I agree. All right, buddy. My client says he wants to touch your wife. You want? No, I don't. I respect their holy matrimony. Yep. Right in the gills. Wow. Did I at least buy her dinner first? Dude, he's pissed. Shouldn't have said that stuff. What's that? Oh. Yes, your honor. Well. I just want to leave, fish man. Yeah, me too, this sucks. Let me ask. Yo, judge. This puzzle says you suck, your coat sucks, and fish suck. And he wants to leave. To do your wife. Oh! You absolute madman, he's gonna take my head off now. Cool. Okay, let's go. Oh. Okay. What did you do? Well, call me butter, baby, because I was on a roll. I'm the jam, you're the bread. Like a ball to a glove. Let me tell you, buddy, I had no clue what those fish folks said. I can't understand a look at that gibberish. I just hang out here because you humans suck. But dude, when we worked together, we were golden. What do you say? Join my law firm? I mean, I do hate you, bud. Are you going to join the team? Awesome. Harvey Yellow Bastard join your party. Okay, so the way I see this, we, we have either the maps that we could take the boat with, or we have 
two areas that we could apparently blow up, which are those two right there. Um, we, we cannot blow up that one. That one's too big. But we got... Oh god, for a second I was gonna hurt yourself. We got that up there, and this one here. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna take this one over here. Bro, is that TNT awesome? Start blow- I, I, that's what I've been doing! But the problem is that none of these places have led me to the continuation of the story. It just leads me to another optional area where, I mean, I'm getting characters, which is all fine and dandy. How you doing, buddy? Thought you could hide from me, huh? Oh, jeez. I have no eyes to see. But I can taste it. Yep, uh... That's <laughs> it. Sounds like a you problem right there, my friend. Alright, well, um... Let's leave that man with no eyes alone. I mean, whatever happened to his eyes, it probably happened recently because there's still blood there. Hello, my friend. It was unbelievable. Such great taste. Such fast service. Is it truly a god? Well, depends on what you're talking about. Godliness, huh? <laughs> Speaking of godliness, look, I, I like how we got sunbeams now happening, too. Flag an RPG Maker game, and we got sunbeams. What has technology done? Man, this guy's over here, balling it up. By the way, are those uh, W's? Praise him. Can you hear it? You're just in time. A prayer shall be answered. Have faith, and never go hungry. Oh, Lord, can you feel it? Large fries, brother. Salvation comes from atop the mountain. A holy land, untouched by man. Praise him. What do we got here? T Today, you shall become a man. Go forth, my boy. Pray to the one above. Pray so that we shall live another day longer. Pray for his mercy. Pray for his kindness. Pray. Uh, I'm nervous, father. Say no more, my son. Turn around. Clasp your hands together and bow your head. Let your heart do the talking. He will listen. Oh, okay. The hell is happening? D dear Lord, praise thy name. I, uh, I'd like a large cola? A cheeseburger combo meal? No, a uh, triple cheeseburger meal. No ketchup. Curly fries with that. And uh, a four-piece nuggy meal for my dad. <laughs> nuggy? Amen. What the hell is happening here? Is this like a... Is this like a takeout? It, it's a bag of takeout floating down from the sky. I'm just having a sip of coffee here. Meanwhile, this holy revelation takes place. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I kind of got it now. The W, it's upside down. You turn it around, it's McDonald's. <laughs> it's McDonald's. It's, it's a fast food place in the post-apocalypse. How about that? Well done, my boy. Do you think God likes me? Well, apparently he does. He sent you food. No, no, no. Uh, welcome to Wally's. We're sorry, but we only provide one miracle a day. Thank you. Die. Die. Eh? Bye-bye. Oh, you guys don't seem too happy. Are you guys workers? <laughs> Look, you're dressed like workers. If you'd like to place an order, please consult the speaker, sir. How about you move? Sir? Man has no place many in God's affairs. Please leave. You don't belong here. Move. Prepare to die. That's not... That's not very godly, now is it? Okay, we got ourselves a fight. Time to put this coffee down. All right, what do we got here? We got employee Mark and employee Chris. Well, employees, here's what I like to do about this. I'm gonna set that as a blaze, Chris. And then Terry, my boy Terry, hot dance it away. You're gonna go ahead and do a TP dance on the old birdie boy. Birdie boy, let's start out by spitting on employee Chris here. See how this plays out? Oiled up and blind, that's what you want to see. Get your TP back. Get that dance in there. Nice. Good week. What? Hey, wait a minute. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, hot dance this guy away. Can you please die? Thank you. All right. So they don't have a lot of HP, but they, they hit like a freaking ton of bricks here. So nice. Okay. Not 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 too bad a fight. 
just hurt like hell when they hit. So those employees out of the way, very good. Let's continue. There's a deer over there eating. Of course. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Okay, how about this time we, uh, don't fall? <laughs> you know what? Just get off of the freaking bicycle. Get off of the bicycle. I'm a loose cannon. I'm a loose cannon when I'm driving this thing around cliffs, man. Why is the deer want to fight? Sorry about that little guy. I didn't really want to. Oh, no, I'm gonna have to kill a bunch of deer going up here now. Ugh. What are you supposed to be? Hello, my f oh no. Why why must it come down to this? What are you supposed to be? Little Nuggy! Oh, and you're green because you are you're, you're expired or rotten or something. It's a it's a little nuggy. That's rotten. Okay. You have your own little theme song too, which makes me worry a little bit. Um, can I down you like I did the other guys? Let's try that out first before we start hot dancing around. And you're gonna just increase DP here and just start off with this. Let's see what this Nuggy brings to the table. He's oiled up. We can't blind him, apparently. Good. No, oh, that's actually fairly weak damage. Oh, we can farm. Drop his ass, though. Okay, good, good, good. All right, he's down. So, very simple. Just kept on downing him with weather alert and hitting him with fire. Until he finally went down. Crits also helped out quite a bit. We got Mystery Jerky and Perfume off of this. Got a lot of experience. Oh, look, we've finally at the top. Of this upside-down McDonald's. No, 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 no. Stay out, this says. Okay, climb you. Oh, there's a little bag back there. Ha ha ha, lucky feather. The hell? Hi, welcome to... No, stop. You can't be here. Oh, oh, go away. Oh, oh. Uh, don't. Where's Nuggy? No, don't. Did you hurt him? <laughs> well, well, he's got what your kids need. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. You want Wally to size it? No, no, no. Welcome to Wally's. Don't, P please. I want to just die. <laughs> well, fortunately for you, I can make that happen, but... <laughs> I also worry about my own well-being here. Wally, a.k.a. Ronald, demented Ronald. Stumble. Missed? Okay. As long as you keep doing that, that's perfectly fine. Don't miss, though. That's, that's terrible. No crit? Hey, is this... did his face just change a little bit? It looks like a bit cracked now, huh? Oh god, he's gonna probably turn into some sort of monster, isn't he? Okay, his face broke again and now it looks like either brain matter in there or like more of that grounded beef that we've seen. Okay, he's down. Not really hard. His last form with the brain though, he does a bunch of like one-hit kills. Um, so he knocked Nern out, so unfortunately Nern, no experience, because he died before I could revive you. Cannonball with Bradley. Birdie. That's about it. Okay. The hell is this? Is that Papa's face? On spider legs? Like, there's no other way about this. Okay. Somebody is going through withdrawal. Oh, wait, wait. No, he isn't at me. For a second, I thought he touched me and he just stopped moving. Marty. Okay. Um. Are you a dangerous lad or are you not a dangerous lad? Guess we won't know until I get some spit on you. Or hopefully you die with only one fireball and it'll be fine. 239, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Now, if you just die with one combination attack, then... We can just kind of skip through most of this here. Fire him up. Yeah. Such so like a common mob. Terrible experience, no money, no items. Alright, so we're finally out of that. It was annoying more than anything, so... No problem there. What the hell is this? Uh... Got thunderstorm now? Oh, I can move. Okay. You got Buddy's mask. Oh, right! That's, um... Is that how we were hiding her? Her looks? No. It's not equipment to my understanding, so I looked in there just to make sure... 
We found her just like that? Buddy? Brad? Where have you been? I've, I've been looking for you. Are you heard? Where's Uncle Sticky? And Rick? I... I don't know. It doesn't matter. We have to go. But Sticky told me to be... Told me to stay here. We need to go now. You're not safe here. Hurry up. Wait. What's going on? It's too dangerous for you to be out here. We've talked about this before. Let's go. No. I know what's going on. What? Rick and Sticky told me everything. I know how important I am for this world now. People actually need me, Brad. They all care about me. Something you never did. Buddy, no. I do care about you. I'm here to save you. So things can go back to normal. I know about those little blue pills. No. I don't do that anymore, I swear. I stopped. For you. Well... I have a new life now. Buddy? You don't understand what's going to happen to you. You were a girl. The only girl. You're just not ready. Yes, I am. Uncle Sticky showed me. What? Yeah. He helped me. What the hell are you talking about? What did he do to you? He just talked to me. What else? Stop, you're scaring me. What did he do? Nothing. No more talking. We're leaving. And obviously what we were alluding to, or at least what he was trying to get to, was did Uncle Sticky do something else to her? Because apparently he showed her how important she is. Alright. Well, <laughs> I'm not convinced that um, everything is fine here, like at all. Okay. What? Oh, oh, he's le he's sitting there against a tree. I thought he was like part tree. I thought he was like a freaking Pokemon. Hey, kiddo. Say, you got any spare change? Uh, sure. Brad, I want money, not these dirty magazines. Where'd you get these anyway? Shame on you. By the way. You seen Tony? That little shit needs to come home. Alright, this, this, this man apparently knows me. He's walking and something terrible is going to happen here. You got one of Buddy's ponchos. See, I'm starting to think if the poncho being here is like, letting me know that, well, you know, something's already happened to Buddy. First we saw the mask is hanging in a tree thing, now we're seeing like whatever ponchos he's thrown about. Ah! Son of a... Brad and his party have been knocked down. Oh no, it's the whistle. God damn it! Lisa's version of Negan. Ah, oh, good morning, sunshine. Can you feel the joy today? How about you, beautiful? Stay away from her. Why, Brad? You know her? You want her? Huh. You know this man? Yes. Who is he to you? He... I don't know anymore. I see. Listen, sweetheart. This is a sick man. You stay away from him. Look at this. This sweet little pill. He loves it. Look at his eyes. He's disgusting. It's been a while, hasn't it? What's wrong? Did you run out? The demon's eating you up now? You piece of shit. It's okay. I'll share with you. Take it. No. <laughs> what? 
How can you turn me down? Please. Not in front of her. Take it. Don't hurt her anymore. Yeah, don't worry. It's not her I'm after. Well, we saw the pill. Hmm. Have another. Don't you want to be happy again? Ah. Huh. You want more? That's the spirit. I'm sorry, buddy. The hell is happening now? Is this is like Evangelion or what? I'm walking on the, the tang. All right. Well, I guess we're going up. To where? Who knows? Let's keep going up. Oh, God. I just realized what that was. Ooh. Okay. Brad. She's getting older. How can you blame me? Besides, she wanted. She's thirsty for knowledge. Someone needs to educate her. You're just not capable. It's all over for you. Oh, God. Oh, that was my party ad. Who is this, Sticky? Oh, Uncle Sticky, huh? Okay, got a crit in there. Well, I guess since we're joined up, we are doing massive damage. And we did stun him at least, so there is that. You know what? I was thinking doing that over and over. Just getting my crits in there, and if we keep him stunned, we don't really have to take any damage, so we're fine. Alright, he's down. I'm no longer joyed. We crit the hell out of this guy. Now, I hope it suddenly doesn't, like, throw some sort of, like, spin on me where... I wasn't supposed to kill him because I was, like, pilled up and that ruins my entire No Joy run. Because I would be upset if that suddenly what it does to me. Don't blame me. I'm just trying to help. Uh... He's dead. Everybody's back. Is this where we... This is where we ran into Buddy. Curious of that. Blockade is now gone all the way down there. And also where this leads to. Those creeps. They're headed for a blockade. Huh. Okay. Oh, and we're back here. Perfect. Safe spot. Well, we're out of time. Went a little bit extra here today, but that's perfectly fine. Got some story development happening. Who knows what's happening with Buddy? Who knows what's happening with this scumbag that shows up and beats my ass like he's sneaking all the time? Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Stick out for the next episode. I will catch you next time.